Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So, have you ever wanted to explore Mars, and you were looking for the perfect exploration rover? Now, this is A1 Atero's Danzar Exploration Research Rover. Now, there's a cool variety of features that this thing has. It has everything from a deployable vehicle ramp to cool little quality of life lowering and raising steps. So we'll have a look around the exterior and then we'll pop inside and have a look at some of its features. I've set it up in like a, a little research situation. They've unloaded some blocks to take some samples. They've deployed some mobile lights. So let's start here at the front. So the first thing you'll notice is the cockpit is located right in front of us. It has a very clear field of view. We'll just dip ourselves inside here. You can see they're approaching a little bit of a base. We've also got these awesome little LCDs on the new button panel. And we've got the lights on either side. Now, to decorate these lights, there's been a few interesting features. So we've got the hinge, the new block itself. We've also got ourselves on top here the neon tubes painted black to act as pipes. And we've got the detailing of an LCD with a little warning display. Almost giving it like cute little eyebrows on top of the spotlight now down here in the center we've got another use of the hinge block in fact two hinge blocks to bring up this connector now since this connector is on hinge blocks it means it can be lowered and raised when required and also there's a little warning light there when it's in use so that is the front section now if i bring it up above we've also got lighting attached on these little cut down blocks there, looking very awesome and as the armor wraps itself up with some staircase blocks we've got some detailing using the new little word blocks so coming on top, of course, we've got ourselves our camera for scanning the horizon, checking what's ahead of the rover, as well as a laser antenna to stay connected to things above. So let's work our way along the side now. So of course, we've got the upper deck and the module that the players will be living in, and we've got the lower area where a lot of it is very tightly packed blocks, such as engines, reactors, batteries, um, car containers, and things you would need to survive. So you can see we've got the staircase there. We've actually got some cut down neon tubes that act these really awesome like girder support beams here connected up to that hinge that's going to be acting as the lowering and raising ramp right there but we'll show you that when we get inside we've got the two rear wheels a little bit more detailing going on in this section at the back with the neon blocks and as we come up to the top we've got the window and we've got the bed section so you can sleep with a lovely view of the mars terrain and my lighting setup so you can go a little bit higher up and we're onto the roof of the thing now so on the roof of course we've got some little uh, sort of spot lamp not spot lamps what they call them the, the things that are on top that allow lighting them the lighting top thingies that's what we'll call them we've got ourselves two remote control blocks with sound blocks so you can play all your fun music we've got a connector with a light on that wouldn't work as a merge block sorry a merge block not a connector and we've got two ore detectors there for detecting ore in the local area now as we come at the back we've got this cool sort of detailed tank area that's not really a tank but it's just some round blocks attached to the end and then we've got ladder access at the back if needed but i think that's just more of detailing for the arm and we've got the small rover that can be lowered and raised just have a look at some of the detail on some of these panels transport elevator attention low lower only on a flat surface so coming around the other side we've got the identical again so let's just get ourselves aboard so let's spawn a little character in over here and you'll notice my field of view is really quite big at the moment so we're just going to retract that back we'll go to the graphics it's a little sneak concept if you want things to look a little bit more cinematic so we're down here on the bottom we need to lower this ramp so coming under here we can hit ourselves the button the ramp lowers down like so of course be careful don't get yourself crushed by it i mean i'm sure a1 or terror will not be held responsible if you crush yourself with this ramp so once you're on here you can get yourself up into this area and you can of course access the car container there that's useful if you're building off the side of the rover so functionality has been considered with this build that i greatly appreciate so we'll head ourselves inside now so now that we're going inside you can see we've got ourselves a little storage area with supplies and things you're going to need of course things that are going to be in russian or acrylic uh, for this one coming down here we have the cockpit we've got information on all these screens so we've got the captain terminal and we've got the communication channel open there we've also got detailing on this weather clear all, all, every little console has been overhauled so you can see weather clear on that little console we can see the main system start stop front connector cockpit lighting let's fire that up there we go cockpit lighting and we've also got a warning button that is really tempting to to, to press I'm, I'm not gonna press it just yet because i'll probably break something and it's something that's also pretty cool here is you can actually see the connector 
through the floor there with that little glass window so when you're connecting up now coming to this area of course you're going to need a kitchen you're going to need amenities for the six-man crew that this is designed to host and we've got a compartment lighting we can just toggle the lighting on and off always good to have some lights which is a bit of a nice advanced lcd screen there we've obviously got akr exploration the company that this is working for we've got access to the lower area that is a battery storage and a car container storage down at the bottom we'll use the ladder to get ourselves back up we've got the bedding on either side we've got some more suit access here and here we've also got access to the upper airlock if we need to do any observation from up here that is pretty cool you can just walk around you you are relatively safe up here as well as you're moving i like the functionality of this rover just how you can get around it and navigate it especially if jetpacks were turned off that i always think is a good idea um transport elevator so we're here at the back we've explored that whole rear section i'm just going to do a double check make sure we haven't missed any detailing a little bit of lighting very compact interior very cool indeed and we have the elevator here at the back so we need to hit the button and we should see the elevator beginning to lower let me just double check that did i hit everything correctly okay uh, we've got some warning lights powering up some things seem to be going well do we have to hit the button again i'm always scared about hitting buttons twice just in case it's a very slow procedure okay we'll we'll, we'll um we'll hit that again Okay, so we've, the button seems to have malfunctioned in some way. So we'll, we might have to head to the cockpit. Hold on, let's just check this. Oh, so the controls are actually here. Okay, but it seems to be locked in place. Transport connection on and off. Elevator lighting on and off. Elevator lock, that's what we need. Okay, always read the control panels. Nicely laid out like that. That's important because if there is a new man on your crew and if you've not given the brief on how these systems work, you're going to be struggling. So the little rover is lowering. We can obviously disconnect the connector, turn the connector on and off. That should have disconnected it. And we could hop into this small little rover. Let's drive this guy off. Off the ramp we go. We can do our little exploration mission. We could do a little mining, a bit of recovery. We could explore these outposts ahead. And then, of course, we've got the seats on the back there so you can transport around a really cool little rover. And I like how it copies the style of the bigger rover as well. Let's try getting back on the ramp. We're not exactly on a perfectly flat surface, but we should be able to climb that maybe with a bit of a bit of oomph oh god i've not broken anything over all right there we go okay so the final thing we probably need to do is drop the wheels down let's turn the wheels back on and we need to connect ourselves back up that's it's going to be easier said than done because that connector is a little bit lower i guess we could put the wheels down let's pop ourselves out let's turn the connector back on okay let's just align this a little bit let's have a look Okay, trying to connect this guy up. I think what's going to have to happen here is we're going to have to go to the wheel settings and we're going to have to just lower the overall offset. So, high offset, lower that down. Oh god, we're only controlling one wheel at a time here. This ain't good. We need to control, we need to kind of control them all. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can get that dock now. We might not be able to, it might be too heavy towards the front. Some of the, the the rear wheels are lifting up. There must be something under the rear section there. Let's see if we can uh, bring it back and maybe connect it up anyhow. Oh, come on. There we go. Ready to go. And we're connected. There we go. We got it. It was a little bit of wiggling. Sometimes connectors are a little bit like that. But we got ourselves back into position. Let's raise the lift back up and we'll take the main rover for a ride. I love that little feature. It's so cool, especially keeping it off the ground. My only worry would be in a survival survey, if this got attacked, it would fall off. But, you know, the cool factor kind of out outweighs that in the first place. So once this is at the top, I'm probably guessing you need to turn the lock on and off or you're not going to have a good time. There we go. Lock is engaged. Let's head back through, see what the airlock behind us. And we'll go to the front cockpit cabin. So, of course, we have got these little accesses here. We've got the stairwell accesses that we've came up on the other side as well. Very, very cool indeed. Let's go down to the cockpit. Let us get ourselves the captain. Okay, that was the, we're not the one that's driving it. I reckon he's the one driving it. Let's just double check. Parking brake off. Okay, let's check this one. Not that one. Let's check the final cockpit. Yeah, so it's got to be this one in, in control. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be, but no, no. At the same time, I'm not, I'm not got much response from this. This is the captain's one. Captain, driver, senior engineer, uh, signalman, field doctor, scientist, junior engineer, status of staff. 
Okay. So I feel like we're just not getting any control on at the moment. No stampers off. Uh, let's try doing the old power on and off type gig. Yeah, power on and off. Um, number four. Okay, parking brake. Okay, so all we can access from here is the parking brake. Maybe I've not set something up. Maybe this isn't the main cockpit. It is the main cockpit. So don't, why don't we have any controls? Do we need to fire up some sort of system? Is this something I've missed? Main system stop start. Okay, is that fired anything up? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so we just have to hit the ignition key, basically. A little bit confusing there. Start, stop. Okay, so a start, stop button is probably quite common. So there we can move around. We need to probably raise up that right-hand side fence there so we don't catch it on the ground. Let's have a look at his maneuverability. The rover's staying in place on the back. We're going to scratch that little fence, so just ignore that. Good sort of maneuverability. Let's check a turning. So we've got rear wheel turning as well, so we can corner more sharply. And we're really hogging, sticking to the ground, so the wheel setup is really nice. Let's just uh, turn the lights on and off at the front and have a quick look. Oh, very cool. And let's hit the brakes right there. So what I wanted to do is we're traveling across this train slowly. I just wanted to check the other options. Front connector. So that just connects it. What's this? What is this warning button? Oh, okay, that's a nothing button. So we can hit the stop button and it powers down the ship. Of course, we still need to put the parking brake on there. Oh, look at that. Look at the little connectors lowered into the connector position. So that's what that front connector button must do. Quite self-explanatory, isn't it? It just raises it up and down. So yeah, so it raises it to two positions. Raised, keep it off the ground so you don't scratch you're going across the terrain. Yeah, these hinge blocks have some great uses, don't they? Anyway, let's wrap that up there. If you're interested in checking out this rover yourself or you want to build your own rover, there's a link down to it in the description below. Check it out, support these creators. They're building some awesome things on the workshop and I will see you next time.